for today's lesson, we will be evaluating algebraic expressions. And our two standards are 6EE2 and 6EE2C. So to evaluate an expression, we are given a, uh, an expression and then given a value for the variable. Without that value for the variable, we can't really do much with our algebraic expressions. So the first step that we will um, do in every situation is the same, and that's called substitution. Substitution occurs when you take one uh, thing out and put something else in its place. So in our situation, we're gonna be taking the variable out and we're gonna substitute a, a value, a number into its place. So if we're gonna evaluate x plus five when x equals nine, our first step is to take out the x and put in nine, and then we're just simply going to do nine plus five, which is 14. So if we evaluate 30 minus y when y equals six, we're gonna take out the y and put in six, and 30 minus six is 24. Evaluate 8p when p equals seven. Well, 8p means eight times p. So we're gonna take out the p and put in seven. We're gonna do eight times seven, which is 56. <coughs> Excuse me. Evaluate q over 10 when q equals 60. So we're going to take out the q and put in 60. 60 over 10 is 6. And evaluate m over 4 minus 9 when m equals 36. Which means we're going to do 36 over 4 minus 9. We follow our order of operations. So we do 9 minus, or we do 36 divided by 4, which is 9. And then we would have 9 minus 9, which is 0. So we're going to evaluate each algebraic expression for the given values of z. So we're going to value of expression when z equals 8. So that means we're going to do 12 plus 8, and 12 plus 8 is 20. When z equals 16, We'll then take 12 plus 16, which is 28. 25 minus z, so we'd have 25 minus 8, which is 17. And 25 minus 16, which is 9. 3z minus 14 means we're going to do 3 times 8 minus 14, three times eight is 24, and 24 minus 14 is 10. And then when z equals 16, we would have three times 16 minus 14, three times 16 is 48, 48 minus 14 is 34. And then z over 16 plus 15, so that would be eight, over 16 plus 15. Well, 8 over 16 is half. 1 half plus 15 is 15 and a half. Or, when z equals 16, we'd have 16 over 16 plus 15. 16 over 16 is 1. 1 plus 15 is 16. <coughs> Excuse me. So evaluate each algebraic expression when q equals 20. So we would have 4 plus 2 times 20 over 11. So when we have a situation like this, what we want to do is take what's on top, and we want to think about that as being in parentheses. And a good rule of thumb here when working with these is to do one step at a time. As you notice, my first step on each of these was to um, do the substitution. And after that, just do one thing at a time. Take care of one piece of it. So if I follow my order of operations, I'm going to take 2 times 20. 2 times 20 is 40. Then I'm going to take 4 plus 40, which is 44. And then we would have 44 over 11, which is 4. So I'd have 125 plus 20, that over seven. Again, what we want to think about this as being inside parentheses. 
125 plus 20 is 145. 7 goes into 145 20 times, so you'd have 20 and 5 sevenths. And then 11 times 20 over 4 plus 25. 11 times 20 is 220. 220 over 40 over 4, excuse me, is 55. And then 55 plus 25 is 80. Excuse me. There are n apples in each box. Write an expression in terms of n for each statement and evaluate the expression when n equals 24. So we want to know the number of apples left in the box after six apples have been eaten. So first we have to write an expression in terms of n. So that's going to be n minus 6. And then we're going to put 24 in for n. And 24 minus 6 is 18. The number of apples each child gets when a whole box of apples is shared equally among four children. So we're going to take that. And we're going to divide it by 4. And so we do 24 divided by 4 equals 6. The number of apples each child gets when a whole box of apples and another 11 apples are shared equally among five children. So one way we could do this is we take the apples, add 11, and then divide by 5. Or we have n plus 11 over 5. Either of those expressions would work. And then we put 20, uh, 24 in for n. And 24 plus 11 is 35. And 35 divided by 5 is 7. Caitlin is x years old now. Write an expression in terms of x for her for each statement and evaluate the expression when x equals 18. So her brother's age, who is five years older. So you do x plus 5. And so you'd have 18 plus 5, which makes her brother 23. Her aunt's age, who is twice as old as her. So we can have x times 2. We could do 2 times x. Or we could do 2x. Any of those would work here. And we would do 18 times 2, which makes her aunt 36. Her cousin's age, who is half her age. So we could do x divided by 2. Or if it's half her age, we could take 1 half times her age. Either way works. So we do 18 divided by 2, or half of 18. Either way, we get the cousin, who is 9. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're going to evaluate our expressions here. So 4 plus 5 times 12 over 6. So again, my first step is substitution. Then I do one thing at a time. So 5 times 12 is 60. 60 over 6 is 10, and 4 plus 10 is 14. Now, number 6 looks very similar, but it is written slightly different. <laughs> and remember, we want to think about what is up here as being inside parentheses. So 5 times 12 is 60. We have 4 plus 60, which is 64. 64 over 6 is 10 and 4 sixths, which simplifies down to 10 and 2 thirds. We come down here, 8r over 9, r equals 27. So 8 times 27 over 9 minus 15. 8 times 27 is 216. 216 divided by 9 is 24, and 24 minus 15 is 9. So 
16 minus 2 times 18 minus 4 all over 3. So we have 16 minus 36 minus 4 over 3. 16 minus 32 over 3. 16 minus 10 and 2 thirds, which is 5 and 1 third. So you'll see that uh, evaluating some of these problems does take a little bit of time, especially if you do one step at a time, but doing one step at a time helps ensure that you are getting a correct answer. Now in this situation here, you'll notice that we have uh, more than one variable, but the variable is the same, so they're both x's, which means anywhere we see an x, we're going to substitute that with a 3. So 3 plus 1 over 2 plus 5 times 3 minus 3 all over 10. 3 plus 1 is 4. 5 times 3 is 15. Fifteen minus three is twelve. <coughs> Excuse me. Four over two is two. Twelve over ten is one and two tenths. Two plus one and two tenths is three and two tenths, which simplifies down to three and one fifth. Eleven plus three is fourteen. Nine times three is twenty-seven. Twenty-seven minus three is twenty-four. Fourteen over two is seven. Twenty-four over four is six. Seven minus six is one. So again, on these, if you just take your time, slow down, don't do a whole lot at once, you should be fine. Okay, the calculations aren't difficult, it's just there's a lot of them and you're going to be rewriting things numerous times. So still just take your time, slow down, and think about what it is that you're doing. Seven times three is 21. Two times three is six. 21 minus 6 is 15. 8 plus 6 is 14. 15 over 3 is 5. And when you have four outside parentheses on 14, that tells you to multiply. 4 times 14 is 56. 5 plus 56 is 61. Again, a lot of this is just rewriting. The calculations aren't too difficult. It's just that you're going to find yourself writing the same thing over and over again, but that's okay. You'll notice that you'll be writing less because you will be um, doing calculations in there. So 3 times 3 is 9. 4 times 3 is 12. 13 times 11 minus 9 is 2. 16 Minus 12 is 4. <coughs> Excuse me. 13 times 2 is 26. 5 times 4 is 20. 20 over 2 is 10. 26 minus 10 is 16. So again, take your time. Go one or maybe two steps at a time. Go slowly and you should be fine. All right. That's it for today's lesson. As always, I hope this helps.